But, you know, we have uh, numbers that if the projections are right, we're going to win by a lot. I just say to the people that are watching now, if you could go out and vote, because it's not Haley. She's not a problem. Uh, I think she's very negative for the party, but she's not a problem in terms of winning because we're winning by a lot. The only place we, we expected to lose was D.C. because that's the swamp. That was a it's a badge of honor to lose. Well, it we didn't do anything. Yeah. We sort of said, leave that alone. That'll be a good uh, that'll be yeah. a good. It's a. Uh, a very interesting place. If I won it, I would have said that could be a problem because, yeah. you know, a lot of people would say, what's this all about? But uh, we've won everything in record numbers. And tomorrow uh, we could very well win every state in record numbers. That's what we're hoping for. But uh, it's so, thank you. It's so important because we have to send a signal. You know, November 5th is going to be, I think, the most important day in the history of our country. Because that's the election. And we're going to take our country back from these fascists and communists and the people that are running our country. And I'm not even sure that it is Biden. I think it's other people, not Biden, because he goes to sleep at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And they have the best of all worlds because they have a guy that probably isn't too active. But uh, he's very active when it comes, though, to uh, weaponization and trying to sure. uh, hurt a political opponent through using the FBI and the DOJ and all. and the people haven't stood for it. It's an amazing thing. Who would have thought this would have happened? It's never happened before. First of all, that's never happened before in this country. But it's never happened before when somebody would have that happen and your numbers would go up. Every time I get indicted, my numbers go higher and higher and higher. Because the people understand it. You know? They really understand it. Donald Trump passionately urges citizens to exercise their voting rights, framing it as crucial for achieving significant victories. He portrays this as a crusade against perceived elements of fascism and communism in a pivotal historical juncture. Examining the emotional and psychological aspects of his narrative reveals a sense of urgency and purpose. Delves into the anxieties surrounding the upcoming election and the perceived influence of unseen forces, emphasizing the need for exploration. Trump's characterization of opponents as fascists and communists sparks reflections on the broader political landscape raising questions about the potential implications beyond the immediate discourse, suggests that Trump's portrayal of the political panorama may implicate someone other than Joe Biden, adding complexity to the narrative. During legal disputes involving enigmatic figures and the shadowy influence of deep state elements, Trump's popularity surges, prompting a closer examination of his character and public responses, the piece encourages contemplation of the significance of narratives where legal intricacies contribute to heightened popularity. It highlights the intricate interplay between public perceptions, trust in the political machinery, legal challenges, and the socio-political context. Overall emphasizes the multifaceted dynamics shaping public sentiment in the face of political uncertainties.